Welcome. Today I'll be going over how to change between uppercase and lowercase in Vim. Now there's many ways to do this and let's say I want to change the first word I see to be uppercase. Well it's pretty quick to do. Now let's say I want to change the third word and then the fifth word. Now let's say I go uh, to the next line and let's say I actually want to change the first word to be lowercase. It's also possible. And then third word, fifth word, seventh word and then let's say you come across some text and it looks kind of funky i just want to uppercase the entire line let's say i wanted to lowercase the entire line instead well pretty simple let's say i want to make multiple lines uppercase or let's say i wanted to change this entire file to be uppercase well a couple keystrokes away and then let's say i was at the bottom of the file and i want the whole file to be lowercase all right, no problem. All right, so what did I do? How did I make these changes? Let's start from the beginning. I'm gonna undo everything. So the first thing I did was I changed a single word to be uppercase. So to do that, I type in the letter G, followed by the capital U, so that's Shift U, and then W. And then if I wanna jump to the third word, I just hit W twice, and then I'll hit the period key, which will repeat the previous command which was to uppercase uh, the first word. So if I hit the W twice and I hit the period, I update the fifth word. All right, so that's how I make things uppercase. How do I make words lowercase? So instead of uppercase U, I'll be using the lowercase U. So that's lowercase G, lowercase U, W. Again, hit W twice to skip a word, hit the period to repeat the command. Rinse and repeat. Now let's say you wanted to change the entire line. Um, instead of using the W at the end of the command, I'll be using the dollar sign. So in this case, to make it uppercase, G, Shift U, and then Shift 4, or the dollar sign. And that makes the whole line uppercase. To do that for lowercase, you'll do G, U, dollar sign. And if you wanted to, you could, you could repeat this as well um, by using the period key. Um, any command you can just you can go ahead and repeat using that period now here I went ahead and I changed multiple lines So the way I did that I typed in G capital U because I'm making it uppercase and then the number one and then I hit enter So what that did was it took the current line plus one um, And uppercase everything let's say uh, you're at the top of the file and you want to change the whole thing to be upper you do G capital U and then capital G and that changes the whole file to be uppercase because capital G takes you to the bottom of the file. If I was at the bottom of the file by pressing capital G and I want to make this whole file lowercase from here, I type in G, U, and then lowercase G twice. If you're at the bottom and if you hit the G twice, you get to the top. So I mentioned visual mode. So if you hold shift V, um, you select the entire line and you type shift U or uppercase U, you'll change the entire line to be uppercase. Um, if you do, sh let me undo. If you go to visual mode with capital V, and then you hit the J a couple times to select a few lines, and then again, uppercase U, um, you can do multiple lines. So uh, it's really up to you. If you wanna use visual mode, um, or if you wanna use normal mode, I personally prefer to use normal mode because I'm usually in normal mode. Yeah, I just feel like I'm, there's more options in normal mode, but if you happen to be in visual mode, you wanna do some uppercase, lowercase magic, uh, you do that. And that's it. If you know a different way to manipulate the casing, please leave a comment below. If you learned something new, go ahead, like, subscribe, and more content coming soon. Thank you.